do the what are these? They're like green beans. Green goomba cluster beans. It's already cut up. Oh that's quite nice. They've got um, a little recipe as well to do it with mustard seeds and curry leaves. Asa fatigue and grated coconut. Quite nice to cook from frozen, I think. A kilo, I've got a kilo of that. That much. They do go off quite quickly, so it's nice. Like got some frozen ones. This is a good brand for okra, large baby okra. They're a nice size, and again, they give you a nice little recipe with ginger, onions, cumin seeds that you just um, wok fry, and then I just put it on a low heat, put the lid on, and just let it um, cook slowly. And that way it doesn't get too um, gooey. And I like Taj because they are consistently good in quality, these ones. And £1.50 for... What's the sandwich one? Oh, £1.50 for yeah, about almost a kilo, 900 grams. That's nice. I think things like okra and the green bees, if you've got them frozen, because you don't get them all season, you know, but they do pack the best quality. They do pack the best quality. We've got some chopped spinach. I like paneer. That's quite good, isn't it? 300 grams. I mean, spinach cooks so quickly, why are you going to freeze it anyway? It just adds another job. I think you just chuck in spinach at the end. <laughs> so you either like it or you hate parala, I think. But the bitter. You can add a little bit of jaggery, take away some of the bitterness. Frasco and trees have got a mild flavour and taste to okra. That green bean. I wonder if they're a bit oh they might be a bit stringy, I wonder. Oh right, you can make a batter mix with them and then fry them. So if you do yogurt, flour, gram flour. Mix it all up with some seasoning and then fry them.